Hi, Eileen Bayer, the fam here. Welcome to another technique in how to relax and relieve anxiety, stress, and anger. And today we are going to be going over mindful meditation. Um, in this technique, I am going to teach you how to and tell you the benefits of it and explain to you why it helps the body so much. Okay? Before we begin, let me just remind you on something, because I know we all have this thing when we hear the word meditation, we think about somebody sitting like this, or with their hands like this, going, for about two hours. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. This type of mindfulness meditation you can do at any time, anywhere, um, whether you're driving and you're struck stuck in a um, stressful traffic jam or you're at work at a stressful day on your lunch hour or even five minutes while you're working a headset or an earplug whatever you can turn on your phone and listen to it but I'm going to tell you how to do it okay the first step you need to do is you need to um, look on either your Android device or your Apple device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad, and you look for free mindfulness um, meditation app. It's called Guided Meditation. Okay, when you find a free um, guidance meditation app, you download the app, and it can be for a minute, um, or can be up to couple of hours. You go by what time you have. Okay? Now, in the guided meditation app, you're going to look at it. In whatever thing that you're trying to accomplish, you know, whatever your mood is, if you just want to relax or if you want to de-stress, you click on whatever one that is. Now, when you do, more than likely you're going to hear soft meditation music because that helps calm the body and the way you meditate with the music is you just sit comfortably most people sit with their legs crossed you can have your palms up like this or you can have your arms crossed any way you're comfortable you can even lie down on your carpet or a couch and do it this is why I said you don't have to sit and go um, for hours. You can do it at work, in a car, on your bed, in your living room. It doesn't matter where you are, okay? But anyway, you're going to get to where you can sit. And you're going to focus your mind on relaxing with the music. And you're just going to let your body relax and zone out all the noises and everything else around you. That's why it's good to have a headset or the other headset that's the wires. You know, you can have the type that goes over like this. Or you could have the types that go in your ears for a headset. Either one is fine. But you're going to listen to it. And while you're listening to it, you're going to be... I want you to think of a happy place. Think of something that makes you happy, whether it be a beach, a walk in the woods, or something like that. Your happy place. While you're thinking of that happy place, listening to the music, you're going to practice breathing. That's basically what meditation is, is controlled breathing that helps regulate your body and calm you down so you're not going to do like a regular breathing that we do every day this is the correct breathing that I'm teaching you how to do okay you're going to breathe in through your nose like this hold it for a few minutes and then exhale through your mouth and you're going to do that regularly through that but not to where it's stressful, just to where it's naturally in and out. And that's how you're going to meditate. That's all it is to it. 
you're listening to soft, relaxing music. You're regulating your breathing, so your body's calming down. You're you're beginning to relax. As you do this, the stress will start leaving your body from one area to another. You can do it from your head down to your toes, or from your toes up to your head. Either way. Now. Now that you know how to meditate, let me tell you the reason why meditation is good for you. There's a lot of science behind mindful meditation, and it's linked to happiness, health, and wellness. In a short, I'm going to give you a bunch of things that it helps you achieve when you implement cut. Consistent meditation, which means you're doing it on a daily basis. Whether it be five minutes a day, a half hour a day, an hour a day, it doesn't matter. But when it's constant, you will see a change. You'll, it, because what it does is it rewires your brain for positivity. It increases your happiness. It improves your sleep. It reduces stress, reduces blood pressure, improves the immune system, reduces tension-related health issues like headaches and ulcers. It reduces aging. It lessens muscles um, and joint pain. It improves your energy levels. It helps you feel more present and connected to life. And it improves your brain function. That's a lot of things that it does for you. So you can see why it's a good challenge. And, you know, as it says, when it does all this, that in itself heals your own body. So if you can combine all the techniques that I taught you before between the gameplay, the penny walk, um... The gratitude in the meditation, if you can do all four of these in one day, it doesn't have to be, you know, try it in the morning before you get up and, you know, when you get up before you do anything else. Um, you could do it during your lunch break. You can do it after a stressful day. You know, if you work eight hours, come home, play a little bit on the game, then do your penny walk, practice your five things of gratitude. You may not need to do all four of them, but if it's that stressful of a day, it just one doesn't work, try adding. And you just keep doing these different, adding the different techniques to build up so that you have a good day. Once you get to the point where you feel relaxed and comfortable, you don't have to continue with that technique for the day. You just do as many or as less as you need. But I challenge each and every one of you to practice meditation just for 10 minutes. That's it. Just 10 minutes. I'm not asking for an hour. Just 10 minutes of meditation a day. Every day for seven days. And then come back with me and let me know how you feel. Does it help make you feel more alive? Does it make you feel more happy? Can you, Are you sleeping better? Let me know. All right, so that's it on the meditation. Um, next Thursday, we will be going over something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is at this point, but there will be um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will be doing these different techniques. So until then, remember to always see with your heart and not your eyes because what your eyes see doesn't matter. What's truly important is invisible to the eye because only the heart can see it. Okay, and remember, each and every one of you out there are important to me. Yes, I'm talking to you. You, you, right out there, yes. Each and every one of you are important. You all matter, and I love you for you. Have a great day.